End of a long day of teaching. Thought I'd do a quick video on visual acuity and how to test it and how to document visual acuity. Visual acuity, remember, is looking at how far someone can see or how far you can perceive certain objects. And normally, it's checked using a Snellen chart. You know, when you look down a chart and the letters get smaller and smaller and you ask the patient, what's the bottom line that you can read? You normally get them to stand six meters away, but you can get them at three meters as well, depending on the chart. But how do you document it? Say you get a documentation of six, six. This means that what a normal person can see at six meters, you can see at six meters. Or I say to patients, what your friend can see at six meters, you can see at six meters. So VA of 660, I say to someone, what your friend can see at 60 meters, you can see at six meters. A VA of 320, what your friend can see at 20 meters, you can see at three meters. Once you get to a stage where they can't see even the top line at a meter, you move away from Snellen charts and you move to finger counting. You may see this written as FC. So how many fingers can this patient see in front of them? If they can't count fingers, then you move on to hand movements. Can they see hands move? Or can they see when hands stop? And you may see this written as HM. And if they can't see hand movements, then you go down to light perception. Can they perceive light or see light? Or can they not see light? You may see this as PL, perceive light or NPL, not perceive light. So you start with Snellen charts and you've got your numerical values to remember, then you've got finger counting, then you've got hand movements, then you've got light perception. Visual acuity in a nutshell, hope this helps.